Hey guys, Jeremy here with Simple Life. What we're gonna do today is take a look at this little toolkit I put together, and I'm calling this my EDC toolkit. Now, this is the first line of defense if I've got issues. You know, one problem I'm constantly having is with the door, the gate operators on our driveway. They're always on the fritz and I'm always going out there. I've got to take the panel off. I've got to troubleshoot inputs, outputs. And this single kit allows me to do that as well as just general household repairs. You know, if I'm swapping out electrical outlets so they have the USB plugs in them, stuff like that. I wanted a small toolkit that I could just carry around with me. And even for small vehicle repairs, if I'm going on a motorcycle trip, I also take this. So why don't we dig into this thing? And I will let you know that this is always in conjunction with my EDC. So. My EDC will hit that real quick. This is never changing. I've got the original Leatherman. These bad boys, I don't think you can find them anymore, but I've got a bunch of them. And I still like the original Leatherman. I also always have a knife on me. Generally, it's my Benchmade Griptilian. Just a good usable blade, keep it nice and sharp. I also keep a small flashlight on my person at all times. Oops. This little O-Light is super handy. One thing I really like about it is that you twist it like this and it's USB chargeable. So there's no batteries. I just charge it up every few days. And it's got a few different brightness modes. It's got like the basic right there and then boom, super bright, really handy. And with the size of it, like it just fits right in the key pocket or the coin pocket on my pants. And then I also carry a pen. Uh, this is just a Sharpie roller pen, quite like this one. And that is what is on my person every single day. Add to that this little kit right here, and I've got quite a few options. So I'm gonna lay this out on the table. I'll show you some of these things, and uh, let's just take a look at this. So this here is just a simple Maxpedition pouch. I don't think they make this style anymore. Um, originally, I had this as a survival kit, and I've decided it's better used as a tool kit. So right when we open it up, the first thing you'll notice, maybe, the star of the show is the Weira Tool Check Plus. Now, this is a fantastic little kit, and I was actually gifted this by my friend Todd Fuss. Todd and I actually have a podcast we do together. It's called Can Am Soup, and it's it's kind of like just two grumpy guys talking, but if, if you're interested, I'll link that in the description below. But this thing is absolutely a gem. This entire thing could fit in the back pocket. This is the metric version, so it's got a 5.5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 12, and 13 sockets on this main kind of a bar, and then it also flips up this way to reveal a smattering of bits. We've got our security Torx, Torx, Phillips, a single slot, and a few Allen keys, the Allen wrench sizes, and then we've got a nut driver, or a, a quarter inch socket driver. On the top, we have this little, actually let me move this so I'm not being distracted. So on the top, we've got this fine tooth, tiny little ratchet, and this thing is really handy. It's got the quarter inch six sided driver, and one thing that I love about this ratchet that I think should be key to all ratchets is that it's got this gripped wheel here and fully reversible. And this is a key feature to me because you can start, you know, bolts, screws, whatever it is when they get easy to do. And, and you know, the ratchet isn't necessarily doing its job. You can just finish it off with these. And I love that feature. So as you can see, you could just take one of these sockets, slap it onto here, but boom, bada bing, go about your job. If you want a little more reach, it also has this little extension right here. Again, type of a bit holder. You'd put this thing on here, put this thing on here, and they've got a little more reach. And then it also has this little handle. So if you wanna use like a screwdriver, you can do that. And then obviously with these, all these different bits, you've basically got a whole bunch of different variations of screwdrivers at your disposal. Really handy little kit. I use this thing on the regular and I've been super impressed with it. Good quality and uh, something that it's just so versatile. I had to put a new battery in my pickup truck the other day and I was able to do the entire thing with just this kit. So we'll put this back here like this and then put this onto here like this, a little rubber stopper, keeper. Put this right here and then this thing slides to hold it on. Boom, good to go. Now, the next part of this kit, and this is something that it works well in conjunction with the tool check. And that is this ratchet here from Vim Tools. This is the RFB 400. I'll also have links in the description, affiliate links if you're interested in this stuff. And the main reason I wanted to go with this is that it's just a little bit longer of a ratchet than what comes on the tool check. But there's also a couple other features that I need to show you about. Um, oops. So first of all, you can see the, the difference in the length there. 
This is quite limited on how much torque you can put on something. This actually adds a lot of it. And the thing I like about it too is it's a fully indexed pivoting head that locks. So, you know, you got all these different options, hard to reach places. And again, it's got the grip on the end of the wheel here. So, oh, I just love that. Uh, in the end here, it also has the quarter inch six point driver. And then it comes with this quarter inch socket adapter, which fits into here. So now we've got a nice wrench with an extension. And the big kicker to me, the thing that's amazing is I can run this like this, run this like this, and then just like that, I've got a T-handle. If you've ever worked on motorcycles, you know how handy a T-handle can be. And uh, just fantastic, you can crank it up there. Once you're ready to just do some final torquing, swap it back to this way and you are just good to go. So to me, this, this one little thing adds so much versatility. And again, we can use it just like a regular length ratchet, but it's got a nice reach on it and it's, it's been doing well. It's a, it's a well-made tool. And so far I've been very impressed with the quality of it. And when I need to store it and put it in my case, I just fold it like that. We'll put this uh, back into there. So we've always got that on there and it slips right into there. Bada boom, bada bing, good to go. All right, the next thing in this kit is this right here. This is a snap-on, just a dual-sided small screwdriver. So we've got the slot and the Phillips and they pop right in there. This is the SSD MIA, I believe. And kind of a redundancy, whereas I could, you know, using this handle and any of these bits have the same thing. But there are times when it's nice to have a slot and a Phillips. But other times, if I just need to, you know, take a wall plate off or something, rather than setting up that other kit, I could actually just pull this thing out and it's just ready to go. Now, one thing that's kind of particular to my situation is this. This is just a cheap old Husky uh, multi-precision bit screwdriver. It stores extra bits in the back of it. One thing I like with this is that this rotates. So when you're turning, you can plant this in the palm and spin it like that. And I use this for the little terminal strips on the door when I'm troubleshooting. Also, I do wear eyeglasses at times, and this has the right sizes that I can tighten up the arms should I need to do that. So not something everybody's gonna want for sure, but this is something that I really enjoy having and I use it quite often. Now, these two are actually little suckers that I got for Christmas. My wife put these in my stocking. Previously, I had slightly larger versions of these in here, but I'm gonna try these guys out right now. These are the Nipex Parallel Jaw Pliers. And these basically replace a crescent wrench or a adjustable wrench. The nice thing with these is that when they are properly set up for the fastener you're tightening, you know, you can get your bite on there and then it actually has clearance where it can rotate around. And this is so much faster than an adjustable wrench where I'd have to go like this, take it off, put it on the next set of flats, take it off, put it on the next set of flats. I can just, just crank on it like this and it is really nice, really speeds things up. Whoops. The other nice thing with these is that as you tighten these and you start putting pressure down, they have like a cam lock design. So they actually, the handles don't spread apart. Like if you're using regular water pump pliers and stuff like that, when you go to tighten them, you're putting that pressure on it. You have to really squeeze hard to keep them closed. Not so with these, these kind of self lock. They say it puts 10 times more locking force. Um, I've had big pairs of these, I still do, where I can actually put this on a piece of steel and stand on here and this doesn't flare open, so that's really nice. And then this here is the Knipex uh, Cobra pliers. This is essentially like a water pump pliers, just well, well made, very well made. They also do have these little, these little cutouts right there and there that do grip nuts and corners of bolts and stuff if you need to use them like that. But these paired together, it's amazing how many things you can get at, access, tighten, loosen, just phenomenal and well worth having in here, in my opinion. Now if I put these in here like this, they'll stay when I open and close this thing. And so they'll go there, this will go here. And then one other thing I have in here is just a little flashlight. And that was just because this was a survival kit. This was in here, but it's always handy to have extra flashlights. This here is the Streamlight Keymate. But in my opinion, that is way too big to be on a keychain. So I just leave it in here. You never know if my EDC light in my pocket dies. It's always nice to have a backup and uh get on there there we go in the back here i keep some wire and this is just like snare wire picture hanging wire 
Um, a lot of times if I'm trying to fish out a little screw or something like that, you can, you know, twist up little jigs and tools and I actually find I use this quite often and it's well worth keeping in here. It takes up very little space and it's handy to have. In the back here, I keep a little section of paracord. Sometimes if you're working on something, you need to tie something out of the way or support something. If I'm disconnecting pipes or something like that in the furnace, this thing actually, in the boiler, this thing actually comes in quite handy. And then more of like when I'm on the road, I keep disposable gloves in here. You know, if I'm making a repair on my motorcycle and I'm wrenching, my hands are greasy, well, I, I don't have a way to wipe them. And then if I put my riding gloves on, then they're forever going to be dirty inside. So, or in your vehicles, you know, if you're on the side of the road, you have to adjust something quick. It's nice to have those because then you're not like dirty hands trying to drive without touching things. But that is basically this entire little kit. It's not super big and it's, you know, it actually lives in my other main tool kit, but many times and, and forcing myself to use this, I'm kind of recognizing when I can just grab this and fix the things that I need to fix. And the one reason I wanted to go with a kit in this type of a profile was that I've got this, it's a bag that fits on the front fender of your motorcycle. And so this thing will actually fit right in here. If I've got a longer bike trip I'm gonna do, I can throw this kit in here. I do have a, a kit that like a factory Suzuki kit that, that comes on the bike, but this just adds so much more versatility. And these little clips can anchor down onto the fender. I can strap it down. It's got this grippy rubber and this little kit fits right into here and boom, I'm like set. Anyways, I'm really happy with this little kit. And you know, it's like when you've got say a toolkit on your motorcycle, it's a wise idea to do repairs in your shop using those tools, at least trying them out so you understand how they work or what their limitations and capacities actually are. Same thing if you're changing the tires in your vehicle. You know, like when I rotate the tires, if I've never done it on a particular vehicle, I will use the jack that's in the car, the tools that are in the car, at least do it one time so that I'm familiar with how it works. That way, should I ever be on the side of the road and need to, it's not like brand new, I'm trying to figure out what does this, uh, got it all sorted out. It's kind of an important thing to do and I think uh, something like that is useful for doing. And in that same vein, I've been forcing myself to use just this kit as my first response to all these repairs so that I'll know its limitations and then as I'm going on, it's like, yeah, I know I can fix that with this little kit or I need this kit in conjunction with a couple of other tools from another tool kit. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Really excited about this. And uh, again, I've got links in the description to this stuff. If you're interested, maybe it gives you an idea of some options, some things that maybe you didn't know were out there. Uh, but they're fantastic little tools. I've been using them and I've been super happy with them. I hope you guys have a fantastic new year and we'll see you in 2023. Cheers.